Hello there, and welcome to another episode of X4 with Star Wars Into Worlds Mod 0.81 install. Apologies, this episode is coming out a little bit late. We are picking up where we left out from, but that was down to the fact that um, I've had quite a busy weekend. I've been to um, Bosworth Battlefield because last weekend or this weekend past was the 40th anniversary of the reenactment of the Battle of Bosworth, which was very fun. Um, I bought a couple of little bits and bats, uh, which was nice. Um, but yeah, uh, and when I got back, uh, I noticed that there was a new oh, there was a new update, and uh, I needed to download that. And unfortunately, everything kind of went belly up from there because the internet broke um, a little bit. Oh, the ship disappears. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, the internet broke a little bit. It wouldn't go above one meg, um, which was really annoying. Um, obviously, I'd, I'd got back fairly late anyway. Um, so trying to get it downloaded, that took a very long time um, to do, um, at which point uh, I kind of just needed to go to sleep because I was a, a tired boy. Um so yeah, so that's why we had the slight delay. But we did last episode buy this uh, action for minor, which is a very basic, basic design. I think this is literally a cockpit bolted onto the bottom of the ship, which is fine. We can, we can do that. And I figured this is not going to be a long, or I'm not planning for it to be a long episode. Basically, we our are. Uh, trying to make some money. I'm a little bit stuck of what to do with the hapes, to be honest, because we're kind of boxed in. Nobody likes us. Everybody hates us. Might as well go eat worms. Um, I'm, temp I'm tempted to go try and see the CSA and, and start getting some sort of relationship up with them and then maybe have a combined hapian uh, Clone Wars... Um, New Republic, uh, not just Republic. Republic sh thinks of Venators and stuff like that, uh, and re reenact the Clone Wars basically, and, and go after the ICG. That's what I'm thinking, but that's that's a quite a while while off. We can workshop that down in the comments section if people want to kind of like uh, give us some suggestions. Before we do any of that, we need money. Um, we need Sorry. money because money in this game is the thing that lets us buy ships and things like that um we need to do some other bits and bats we need to basically because now we can't just go ahead and buy ships now we need to think about uh what we're doing um in the way of maintenance uh, because there is a new maintenance mechanic this is the first time i've ever flown this sh uh, a ship of this type, so that should be fun. Let's have a little look at her. I mean, they look. I've always thought these basically look like a little toolbox uh, of a ship. You know, you could. Good God, the wind is strong today. So you got your handle, uh, and you've got everything um, like this all opens up, uh, or, or maybe some sort of like. Swiss Army knife of a ship. Uh, I don't mind them. They're a pretty good ship. Um, this is obviously a solid mining ship. Um, it's not the quickest. It's not the prettiest. It's probably not the best. We've got a mining laser. Which we can do some buzzing. And we can do some mining. Which will suit us down to a... T. Um... Quick up talk, talky talk then about the new update. Uh, let's turn it off of autopilot because that's just going to make everyone sad, isn't it? Uh, relying on that thing. Um, yeah, so new update. Things that have changed. There's nothing really changed, I think, that's going to affect the Hapes campaign and what we can, can and can't do other than one of the um, Nova 
components, the the big Klingon looking battle cruiser thing, had a missing medium shield um, slot. So that's apparently been fixed. There's now the Lancer patrol ship. I, I always call them Lancer patrol boats. It's the Imperial Lancer. Um, my brief uh, remembrance of it is it's like an anti-fighter uh, ship, essentially. So that, that's that's kind of like what it does. Um, it deals with fighters and things like that. Um, so that'll be interesting to play. I'm hoping that's going to be available from uh, QAT Drive Yards. I, I, I can't see why not. Um, if it's not available, then that, that'll be thingy. But I'm sure we can get a look at one and get his hands on one in another different way. I need to... So, <laughs> at the minute, um, we're down in the old, the, the old stable uh, headquarters... Uh, and the weather is a little bit um, blustery, to say the least. And the door has just blown open. So we're going to sort that out in a second. We'll have a quick look at this ship first, though. So this is um, the one of the medium ships we'll be able to get as hands-on with the hapes. Um, and someone rightly pointed out in the comment section, it's the Imperial Agent ship from... Um, the Old Republic, the MMO. Uh, so if you play as the Imperial Agent, you will get this ship uh, eventually. So that's cool, and that got gave me a little idea of something we might be able to potentially do with this series, which we might make a little bit of a fleet of... Um, Oh, I didn't buy a resource satellite, like the fool of a toot that I am. Um, yeah, we might we might put together a little bit of uh, a a mini fleet of ships from the Old Republic games because there's a couple you can get now. There's the Ebon Hawk. There is the new Imperial one, and there are other ships which have. Uh, completely eluded me at this moment in time, but I know they exist. I am a little bit tired today, so uh, it'll be even worse than usual when it comes to the old um, being able to make sense of anything. Uh, oh, we got some ore there. Do we want ore or silicon? We'll, we'll have a look. Right. I'm just going to, uh, as we drift towards this, I'll lower the speed, and I'm going to go and shut the door because it's a bit breezy. All right, we're back. So here we are in our space. Oh, let me get comfortable. We're in our spaceship. We're flying towards an asteroid. Um, we're going to do some mining. I I don't remember actually ever doing any form of um, proper mining. Um, I know when you watch the the miners do it themselves, it, it, it appears to take a hell of a long time. Um, this seems to be quite a quick affair, to be honest. And we are now full. Um, so we need to find a, a, a place to sell this ore. Um, maybe silicon would have been a better option. Ore. Who wants my ore? Right, we need to, to uh, do a little... Oh, we need to get our scout to do a bit of scouting around. Um, I'm sure there'll be a system in this whole area that will buy or from me. Um, so we'll just do a bit of scouting around. We'll have a look at what's going on and we'll see if we can find someone. Occasionally you will get... Um, Build a factory. Oh, we'll take that. We'll accept that. That's an easy peasy one. No, I still want to go there. Um, so that one we're just basically going to pick up a... Um... Oh, we could do pretty much all of these. Oh, we could do all of those. Um, 
We just need to go and get a couple of resource probes. In fact, we could do this. We could be very thrifty. Uh, and we could do just one of these. We're going to dock, though. An ore refinery, to me, should buy our ore. Would, are we out of docking range, though? I mean, it's, I can see it there. Oh, there we go. We can go now. Um, so, yeah. What what else was the update set? So, the, the the rest of the things with the update was just stability. Um, stability style mods, essentially. Uh, making... Uh, making sense of stability stuff basically so there was some glitches where if you had a damaged turret you could get stuck in your ship which you know happens uh, that's apparently been fixed um, but yeah the rest of it is is just little bug fixes one new ship and some bug fixes so that's good. Boop. Now, um, yeah, we can't get by a satellite from these guys. We can trade with them, though, and we can sell our ore. And that will get us a nice 51,520 credits. Well, we've just got to wait for that trade to finish. There we go. And now we need to plot a course back to the shipyard and we need to go and buy a uh, satellite so I'm gonna go and do that uh, and then we'll do these missions together like I said with it this is an early start and we need to be kept we so in previous playthroughs there's been no downside to us basically get as much money as we can as quick as we can build the biggest fleet we can build straight away and then just basically go into to everything all guns blazing well that's that's different now we can't just buy loads of ships because we'll get penalized on it so it's going to be quite a slow grow campaign i think on this one um if i find it's getting a little bit dull or if people think it's getting a little bit dull just you know let me know and then we'll we'll see about see if we can spice it up a little bit maybe even you know amalgamate and do his own custom start somewhere um but yeah, uh, I'm going to sort this satellite out now and then we're going to come back here and, and complete these missions and that'll get us a couple more pennies. Alright, so I thought we might as well talk talk each other through this as we're going. So what we're doing is we're doing a, um, a resource mission basically scouting out resources we are going to buy a five of these things because we're going to make us money back because we've, we've got the missions to do so um so you need at least one resource probe and you have to find this amount of resources in this system in a specific area um oh that's one thing as well on the update i think they've fixed so originally, HAPES for the licenses, the traders license and the border control licenses. I think they were missing a couple of zeros. That has now apparently been fixed. We we can have a look at that at some point. Though. Um, but yeah, back to this mission. So essentially, we fly to the destination. Like a lot of the the ones, it's it's marked out um, with the good old. Um, area of influence sphere sometimes you, the satellite should pick you should as long as you drop it somewhere within that sphere you you should complete the mission you should find th this amount of silicon occasionally you might have to pick up your satellite again and 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 relocate it uh, but i'll show you how to do that because why not if we if we if we're going to be slow and steady winning the day, we might as well be slow, steady, and informative. Um, that's why I think anyway. And there's there's so that satellite cost us five thousand uh, credits, call it, 
It was 4,000 something. Um, the mission is paying us, let's put it on autopilot a minute. Uh, this particular mission is paying us 45,000, which is, which is pretty good going really. Um, if you put it on autopilot, it'll always take you to the center of this little sphere thing, which is a good place to essentially find the resources you're looking for. Always stop your ships when you're deploying satellites, because if you don't, the satellites will, will carry on with basically inertial motion and you'll lose it. Right, we've completed it now. As you can see, that resource probe still belongs to us. So we can right click on it and then we can deactivate that resource probe just like that. And then we can go and take it and we, we, we've, we've kept our resource probe. We now have, this mission has essentially cost us nothing. Um, apart from that initial purchase, we're not losing out. Um, so yeah, and it, it looks like we've also completed all the others, which is even better. Um, I think Silicon always pays the most. We are going to deploy a resource satellite in this system anyway, because we ain't <laughs> we ain't gonna be um, mining for this whole series. As cool as mining is. I think what I'll probably do uh, is actually... Oh, we've got ice in this system as well. Oh, this is a Goldilocks one, isn't it? Um, when I say a Goldilocks system, it basically means it's got all resources. Um, which is always nice. So, orange is all. Oh, no, there's no, no clear definition. We want silicon, ideally. Like I said, eventually we're going to get this all automated because I'm not uh, constantly... I forgot all the buttons, um, which is no good. No good at all, man! And stop! Oh, don't, oh, don't stop. Oh, don't stop, little ship. It is entirely up to you. Asteroid. Ice? We don't want ice. We want silicon. What are you? Unknown object. Huh? There's an unknown object. Oh, it's because it's an asteroid, isn't it? Well, that that asteroid behind us looked like a silicon one, I think. So we'll, we'll do a little little 180 and recheck it out. Ice. Asteroid. Ice. Uh, this is this is boring already for me. Um, I say that it's it's not the most riveting thing to be talking about, uh, in all honesty. But um, yeah, well, do you know what? We're just, we're just going to take the ore. Oh, zimp! Oh wow, that take, took out a shield straight away. Um, interesting. We'll get some ore, we'll sell some more ore. I might do a little bit of mining, get a bit of money up. Um, Cause we, what the, what we could do with doing is going out and exploring the, um, the galaxy to find out who, what and where can be super friends with us. But we can't really do super friends at the minute because people will, um, We'll, we'll, we'll basically thingy with us. Um, as soon as we fly out into New Republic space, we'll get shot. Uh, or we'll, we'll people, X-Wings and patrol groups and stuff like that will potentially try and murder us to death. And we don't want that. We don't want to get murdered. Uh, especially as this is, this was what, day two? We can send civilian ships out to do some scouting for us. Which we might do that. Um... Because on the description, Majiggy, it specifically says uh, combat ships. Now, I don't know what this game necessarily defines as a combat ship all the time. Like, is a scout ship? Would a, a Z95 be classed as a, ca a combat ship? 
uh, or would it be classed as a scout ship? Does it if it's is it if it's got guns on it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> all this and more coming up in this episode. I think we're going to buy Z ninety five um, and see what happens to it. See if we can get it doing some scouting. Uh, see if we can get it to fly to the CSA territory. I don't know why they thought it was necessary to have it so you could only land your ship in one direction. It's very annoying. So in old X4 you used to be able to just like land uh, either which way. So it didn't really matter which way you were coming towards the um, station. land now no no they had they had to ruin it for everyone all those poor miners say that i've done do, done two miners runs i'm now officially the uh the x4 mining export expert uh, this way there we go and land and trade there we go and we'll buy a we'll buy a z95 we'll check out what the z95 does uh, is regards to um, we'll flog you confirm. I mean, we can fly out there and we can try and do some. Um, oh, I knew I could count on you. Why not? Um, we we can get some kind of like resource. Uh, up. We can fly out there as long as we're just straight out flying. It's really easy to dodge. Um, the, the 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 guys and girls. We're just going to do a minimum preset, which brings us like 200, 200 gram, which is half our money, but you know, it's it's all we need basically. Um, saying that, what sort of crew we got? Can I have a marine? Because there's a small chance we might have. Um, we might come across one of the fabled, um, what do you call it? Um, Katana Fleet Dreadnoughts. That would be cool if we found one of those. I've not found a Katana Fleet Dreadnought in a long, long, long time. Um... I found a couple on when they first put the katanas in, um, but then I've not found any. The basically, if you don't know what the katana fleet is, so the katana fleet was a essentially an, like an AI uh, ancient fleet. So way back in the olden days of Star Wars, um, they wanted to make. A, a fleet that could explore the deepest, darkest fleet uh, depths of um, space. So they made this this katana fleet, which were old dreadnoughts, basically, which were pretty much built so they they could operate mainly solo, but they had some capacity for some um, like a skeleton crew. So whenever they got where they were going, the, you know, they've got someone to report back. And the Katana fleet went missing. Um, and then people found it, <laughs> basically. Uh, and they, they hid it because they knew one day they could sell it. And if you want to know which 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 of these people uh, it was that... Wow, that was a very sudden stop. Um, which of these people hid it? Read the Heir to the Empire book. Right, we don't need two resource probes in there. Um, yeah, the Heir to the Empire books were pretty damn good. Um, there, there, there's lots of reason to read to the Heir, Heir to the Empire books. One, if you like Star Wars, you will like the Heir to the Empire books. Um, they are like 1980s, 1990s sci-fi fiction. So the writing type in them, a bit old. A bit old school, but you know what you're gonna do. It's an old school book. Um, 
but it still reads fairly well today. Um, not a combat ship. <laughs> there we go. It's not a combat ship. It's a scout. So please don't shoot us. And we're going to send this. This is a very expensive... Um, we're going to send it to Explore Yarvin 4. Uh, this is a very expensive way to try and find out whether or not a Z95 will get shot at. Um, but it's fine. Because we'll do some scouting. If we can't go out, we'll scout out. Because under the relationships... Oh! Oh yeah, we are minus 20. Under the relationships, we're not allowed to dock with the New Republic. Ships and stations belong to this faction. We'll target your combat ships. Combat ships? Scout? Don't know if it's a combat ship. We sent a trader out there and it was fine. Ships and stations belonging to this faction will not attempt to destroy you. So if we build a bunch of stations in the Hapes, Hapes area... They'll not actively come and destroy us. Oh, the Independent Commerce Guild don't like us already. Now we've got a good excuse to go to war with them if we want to build up this kind of like CSA, ICG, uh, Giga Alliance. Um, we know quite a few of the, the secondaries as well, which is interesting. Oh, we know Incon as well. My favourite place. Um, so, yeah. You can't, you can't. Right. <laughs> so go next. Just have a fly around Zeltros then. If we if we can't fly to the place where we wanted to go, let's try Zeltros. And if the New Republic shooters, the shooters, and if they don't, hip hip huzzah. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, Heir to the Empire. Good, good set of books. Um, have, have aged very well has the introduction of um, Thrawn into the Empire uh, sort of thing as well as some um, Jedi stuff Luke's having another crisis of, of everything as per usual uh, so yeah good books good books have you got any other missions? Oh, excuse me, I am yawning because I am bloody tired, as I've already said. We can't do mine destruction missions in this because it's uh, it's non placible. We can have a look around. We should be able to find something to mine. Now, obviously, at the minute, we're not far enough... Um, into it, or I've not seen anything to do with the hapes. Whether there's an the, there's like an event that triggers for the hapes. Uh, ooh, silicon, yes, please. Like so, the Kaminoans have an event that triggers where they become like an independent faction. Um, the like the different factions do have the Inok Federation New Republic War that's a trick that's an event that slowly builds over time and then they, they go from not liking each other to hating each other so I don't know if these guys have anything or whether or not they're just like soft core Sith <laughs> in the way of like the Sith just hate everyone regardless of who they are um it's like, oh, you, you're not part of the Sith faction? Yeah, you're going to die. Um, oh, someone did ask in the comment section. And I've, I've got to go through all the comments and reply. I do apologise for anyone that's putting burning questions. Uh, they were asking about how I got the blueprints on one of the previous playthroughs for the Sith ship. And that is because I did a custom start. So I set everything up and I gave myself the Sith blueprints. Uh, for the Sith ships, specifically because that's what that that Imperial series was all about. Um, we wanted to basically revive the Sith Empire, and I figured it would be nice to ha be able to have Sith ships to do that. So I gave them myself those, 
Um, there's no official way you can start with the Sith on your side, as far as I'm aware. Um, the ways the ways you can do it is you, you do basically a custom start. Um, I mean, one of the easiest ways you could do a, a custom start is pick your favourite ship. Um, give yourself some money and all the basics and set your reputation with all the empires to zero so you are just Billy No Mates um, friend of nobody uh, and then work your way up or like I said, you can just start by giving yourself a shipyard and the blueprints which is what we pretty much did on the Imperial campaign so I will write back to that that comment with words to that effect but that's how I got those um, I can't remember if anything else has popped up with people asking specific questions. <coughs> Excuse me. I know Matt. Matt has been. Oh my god! <laughs> Just scrape the whole like, Arr! scrape the whole across the uh, the deck of the floor. I know uh, me and Matt have been emailing. I think I've got an email from Matt. I need to email him back about potentially doing some sort of collaboration thing at some point which should be cool or oh, you don't need all the silicon what are you on about you're lying you do need the silicon you want it all right so we need to think about how we oh we need to check out our little uh z95 it's not dead yet that's good um we need to think about how we're gonna start making some long-term money um, um, what have we got here? We got ice refinery parts, Tabana, composite factory, or refinery. Uh, information. Main produce ship technology. We might be able to actually build a um. What do you call it in here? An energy uh, cell place, you know, just to get us started on on the way. Um, I know it's the mo not the most glamorous, but we need some way to start making a little bit of an income. Uh, by license, continue. So let's have a look at that. I haven't put any uh, any size sky size guides on this, have I? Um, so it is going to be a very small station. Uh, let's go with a dock first. Oh, so... Mm. So with a heap start, you start off with the Imperial basic stuff. I thought we might start off with the... Um, what is it? The Paranid style stuff. That's a bit boring, isn't it? It's a bit boring. What's all that about? Um, although the Imperial stuff... So this Imperial stuff, I think it works the best as in in kind of like um you know it just works it just goes together well why won't you go in all right this is this is how we get you to fit in you you will fit in i know you will i have foreseen it um, don't let them get away if I want to let him get away, mate, I'm going to let him get away. And there's not much you can do about it. Oh, we got the age-old problem with the bloody energy cell um, clashing. Right, so for now, no dock for you. Uh, unless. Because this is space. We, we can think outside the box. Everything doesn't have to be on... Um, uh, just, just, nope. <laughs> you can you can just go away. Can it go on the bottom? I wonder. Now what are you colliding? Oh, you you've got the same problem, right? So it's just going to have a normal dock for medium ships and storage, and we'll we'll sort out the rest of that rubbish later. Um, we need to find a builder. We'll do all that later. We 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 we've got the the 
bare bones basicness of it. It's two million, so it's a hefty investment. We'll put a couple of hundred thousand in there. Uh, is there any missions we can do? Not in this ship. So, my, I think what we're probably best off doing is we'll get the, Dock away. we'll get that to finish its exploring, which has only got a little bit more to do. I just want it to uncover these other two stations. We'll get it to dock. We'll swap over there. We'll get the miner doing automated mining of its own accord. Which will be fine. You haven't come across any ships yet, but you've also not been destroyed, which is great. Um, and we'll we'll start exploring, and we'll work our way up towards the CSA territory. Um, now, even if the New Republic don't destroy our little fighter, I've got a feeling that uh, other factions might, uh, because. So to get to CSA territory, I think there's some systems around Yarvin 4 that are free, which we could start our own mini little empire up there. Um, and it's Yarvin 4. Yarvin 4 is cool. So to get up there, we have to go Zeltros, Umbra, Kashyyyk, Oyster. Is it Oyster? Oita. That the, the one that begins with the thingy that's infested with Valerian Syndicate. They have a habit of just destroying everything. Um, but we'll need to find the gate before we can go up. When we're there, I think it's then, it's, is it Lantilles? Um, and then, then we can get up into this area. Uh, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to do that. We've got some barterware missions. Look at that. Deliver a bunch of refined metals deliver a bunch of energy cells um, medical supplies energy cells we might look at start doing some of these at some point depends how we want to do this particular playthrough with the hapes I'm feeling like the hapes need to be more combat orientated so I think we need to establish ourselves um, with a good financial income establish a relationship with the CSA get ourselves some of our own territory so we can work towards maybe not having uh, ship building facilities but at least ship maintenance facilities so then we can um, ha like sort this criteria out here um, but we'll see we shall see for now I'm going to get out of this ship I'm going to go plank myself on this here um, docking bay and I'm going to give my ship the orders to fly around essentially and do some trading so what we can do we can go into orders we can go to um, local auto trade and I want you to get or because they seem to be more or yeah there seems to be more or that needs to be done than silicon silicon i mean we barely barely uh, managed to thing it so we'll do that but before you go off on your merry way we might be able to just get the last of our cargo is secured before departure silicon Wears off. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. We can make a little bit of money, make a little bit of a living, which will be lovely. I'll wait for you to tell me to take off. I'll wait. Well, just take off now. You don't need. You do look, man. You don't need me to tell you these things. Oh, you were doing it anyway. You were teasing. Oh, I'll just wait. He's doing the car trick where you have the car door open, and you go. Uh, you like where every time they try and get in the car, they just basically. Basically, uh, you, you drive forward a little bit. It's hilarious when you're the one that is um, driving. Not so much when you're the person trying to uh, get into the car. A bit annoying when that happens. But yeah. Right, so. I'll see you in a second when all this is starting to come together. Right.
Right then, so the ship has docked, and if I am right, it should be parked down here somewhere. He says, oh, there she is. There's our little fighter. So we'll get in that, because it's it's a, you know, this ship, we could set it off trading, but it's not going to make us any money. Um, scouting is good, but... Um, That's that's not necessarily fun, is it? Just scouting us out on his own. Technically speaking, we we can actually uh, scout scout easier than um, these. Uh, I don't, why 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 are you so rubbish at your job? You've got no right. Okay, gotta be like that, is it? Right, so. Go here, mine, or, and then and then drop it off there. It's it's that easy. Uh, so the AI has obviously not improved all that much while we have been here. Let's have a look. See if there is any. Um, uh, we've got a mining mission. I mean, I don't want to just do these mining missions because they are pretty boring. Um, and we are... But, but we're kind of like, this is the position we're in. Uh, until we've got some money, we'll do this mining mission. We'll head to the Hapes HQ um, to basically try and... Because that's usually where a lot of the building, building ships hang around. We'll do that. And then we'll we'll um, get a station started, and then when a station started, we can we can we'll call it an episode. I think uh, we'll probably have a quick look when we get to the Hapy and HQ as well at some of the um, potential blueprints that we can get. <clears throat> Excuse me, because it would be nice to get some of the Hapes themed. Um, Disengage. Station components, oh, no. rather than having, you know, the uh, Imperial ones. Just because it looks different, it looks nice. Um, they're not parts that I've had the pleasure to play around with. Is it pa Paranid? Is that the one that were... Uh... Oh, God, these are slightly hostile mines. Do da do da We know what happened last time, and it's been a while. Oh, no, we, we had an auto-save, didn't we? These make me nervous. <laughs> what last order? You... Not enough resources found in range. I are you actually slightly you so you couldn't find ore in an ore field, right? Oh, you're making my head hurt. Are you, are you now figuring it out for yourself? Mine, ore, go. We know there's resources in this area. Are you just useless? Have we got a better commander? We don't have a better commander. We might need to buy... Um, oh, that was a bit stupid, weren't it? Active minefield. I'm just managing mining ships. Um, we might need to uh, see about buying some crew skill things. Mining ship, this, the experience usually goes up fairly quick. Luckily. Um... Range transporter B. I'll take you out. Another couple of extra pet. Oh, no, hit the station. That would be bad. I'm gonna get you. Now, from what I've read about the the Hapes Consortium, it does seem like quite a uh, a, a brutal. Um, Brutal's a wrong wrong word. It does seem like quite a uh, Friend, so mine. like harsh, uncompromising legal system. That's fine. We, we, we can manage with a, a harsh legal system. 
we can be the enforcer we can almost be like the 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 sheriff i mean because because i am i am getting back into the old reenactment stuff um i am i am very tempted to kind of treat this uh play through like a feudal lord um especially taking a bit of inspiration from the old 13th and 14th centuries um where it wasn't uncommon for especially in europe knights and stuff like that uh and and lords to go on crusades into foreign lands in the name of their king and pope and all that good stuff you could do that i am thinking a, a war with the icgs is where this is heading though um get a couple of novas so i have like a a core hapian fleet which will be like our battle dragons our um Jump completed. novas and you know all that good stuff and then have um the what do you call it the the a, a, a couple of wings of these fighters and that'll build up the core of it and then have everyone else kind of like as almost mercenary csa uh ships and crews that we've uh, bought neutron star freighter freighter right so we are looking for a builder to build our um, ship assign or hire a builder now is there a builder Ooh, there's not a builder this could be tricky um, okay right we'll dock We'll look at the blueprints because we, what we might want to do is, if we can afford it, we might want to change the um, our station layout. That might be the what we 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 save up for initially is getting like a Hapian style base. We'll, we'll see. Let's. Oh, thank you. That's new, isn't it? Um. We're going to remove that order. We don't want them to fly back to the other station. Hello. Oh, bit of a uh, grind on the old rails there. So, representative office. We'll check if they've upgraded the price on the licenses. So, originally it was like. Uh, these are weird. Um, mining stop. What? I don't want to have to micromanage every single goddamn part of your life. Right, go there. Trade with. Sell the ore. There you go, look at that. And then do it again. It's not hard, is it? Jeez. Right, show me your licenses first of all. Oh no, they've not upgraded that, but we can't buy it. Ah, so it's cheaper, but you you required to have a higher rank. Is that right? Good luck out there. Thank you, Terrell. Uh, I'd like to buy a booth. What have we got? Modules. Production modules. Breweries. Capacitors. Um, is there any specific energy cell production? So they do have a specific energy cell production, but it's three million. So a lot of this is going to be well out of our price range to start off with. Um, but yeah, going back to that that feudal feudal knight idea. Um, just the harbour. How much would it be for a battle dragon? Ninety-five million. That's a lot of money. It's not. That's not impossible to get though. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, going back to the the whole feudal thing, um, like with the your knights and your stuff like that, and your lords and your earls and your barons, um, you also had. Uh, they they didn't just go out and fight and kill everyone. They had quite large estates and lands and stuff like that, which would. Can I help? Give them money, so that that would be kind of like our version of um, 
the things, you know, the thing. Come on, keep up. What are we on about? Um, let's buy that. Oh, three star. We'll buy that as well. I think so. Uh, crystal bit, you can go. Um, and you can go. Lovely. Uh, yeah, the you know, and that'd equivalently be our stations. Um, right. So, comms. Can I help? Yes. You can get goddamn better at your goddamn job. There you go. Look at that. Goodbye. You, goodbye. Bye. Old simple Joshua. Joshua, they're not so bright. Um, advanced auto mine. Uh, we want ice, ore, and silicon. And right down it. We'll just put everything in. We can, yeah. That that should fix everything. Now it should hopefully just do what I want it to do, which is, yeah. What, what I don't care. Whatever. Go mine. Get the materials. Deliver them to wherever, and then we'll get money. Um. Right, the other thing that we need, we need a builder. We need a builder bear, which we can't find. <clears throat> right. It's going to be like that then, is it? Um, we'll just keep an eye on what's going on. So it's probably going to be a case of me following ships around for a little bit. Where's our scout? Our scout is still alive, which is nice. Not a commander. Uh, not a combat ship. I don't care about Zeltros, if I'm entirely honest. Explore. Umbra. Did we have Umbra already? Or have you just accidentally flowed through the gate? Nobody knows. Right, cool. Um... Yeah, I just I just need a builder. That's all. I, that's all I need. Um, find build. Assign a builder. Right, have you come across any builders in your travels? Okay, any builders? Any builders anywhere? I'll take anything. I can see this as, as ended up in us buying our own builders at some point, just so we can get stuff done. That's what we usually end up doing. Right, okay, well, I mean, to be honest, there's very little I can do right about now. We need to find a builder. I'll I'll find a builder at some point. We can get that station under construction. Um, but I think for now, I've been recording for about an hour. Uh, I need to edit this episode and get it up. So it's going to be a short and sweet one. Let me know what you want to see this um, series evolve into. Um, that should be a builder, not a freighter. Damn you. Um, yeah, let me let me know what you want to see. What what kind of like stuff? What direction you want to take? As I'm I'm feeling like the Clone Wars 2 Electric Boogaloo is going to be a semi-popular one to work towards uh, and that's something I'd be more than happy to do, working with our friends at the CSA to take out those pesky droids um, and the armies of the ICG but yeah, other than that uh, if you want to support us you can support us on Patreon there's links in the comments below um other than that, I've, I've been Captain Jack Gumption, and this has been uh, X4 with the Star Wars Interworlds mod 0.81 installed this time around. Uh, so thank you for watching, and until next time.